Here I have a task list application where I can add more items or remove them or create more lists and remove the lists. So here I'm going to take a look at another implementation of the similar application. So here I have the same task list application where I can add items or remove them, add a list and remove the list. Notice the difference? Yes, the second application feels more fluid because we added transitions. And today we are going to talk about how you can add transitions in Svelte. Let's take a look a bit on the code structure before we get started. So we render each of these lists within the each block. And depending whether the list should be shown or not, we have an each block. And then for each of this list, we have another each block that loops through all the items. And then here is where we could, each of the items is rendered with a list item. To start using transitions in Svelte, we need to import Svelte transitions. Svelte transitions provide five built-in transition, fade, blur, fly, slide, and scale. And we're going to look at how we can use them in the example. To start using transitions, you can use the transition directive. Here you type transition, colon, and the name of the transition, in this case, fade. So here I add transitions to the list. So when it's added or removed, it will fade in and fade out. You can add arguments to the transitions. In this case, we're going to add duration equals to four seconds. So now it will fade in four seconds and fade out within 4 seconds. To look at a complete list of all the arguments you can provide to the transitions, you can take a look at Svelte docs under the title of Svelte transition. Here you can see that fade takes in 3 arguments, delay, duration, and easing. Next, we are going to make the item fly in when we add or remove the item. So I'm going to add fly transition. So fly transitions takes in the x and y offset, which means that in this case, the item will fly from 30 pixels from the right. If I want the item to just fly in but not fly out, I can change the transition directive to in. Now the item will fly in but not fly out. And similarly, I can change it to the out directive. Then it will not fly in but it will fly out. So I can use the in or out directive to control the enter or exit transition. This also means that we can have different transitions for enter and exit. In this case, I want to fly in, but I want to blur out. In the next video, we are going to talk about how to coordinate transitions. Thank you for staying through this video. If you like it, please do like and comment down below. If you like more of this content, do let me know in the comments as well and subscribe my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter at Li Hao Tan. Thank you. Bye bye.